everyone, this is Laura Garcia. I'm coming live from my backyard because we're in the middle of a coronavirus pandemic. Um, I just wanted to touch base because I haven't done some videos since the coronavirus started. And today um, we're, I'm having my first closing since the coronavirus started. So I just want to kind of wanted to share what we're seeing differently in the real estate market, what procedures are, and how you can still accomplish your real estate goals from home. Um, so first off, uh, realtors and other real estate professionals have been categorized in the state of Florida as essential. So that means surveyors, inspectors, appraisers, they're all still out accomplishing real estate um, transactions. And the transaction that I'm having closed today, we did go under contract in the middle of um, the pandemic and they are closing today and it has gone smoothly. Things have been a little different though. And so some of the things that we're seeing that are different is um, number one, uh, when you tour houses, even if they're vacant, um, we use face masks, gloves, um, you try and adhere to social distancing as much as possible. Um, all, most realtors now also have virtual tour options. Either the listing agent will have one posted in the MLS that you can watch, or your realtor can go for you and call you via Zoom, um, any video app and basically walk you through the house and kind of talk to you. So um, that's some of the things that we're seeing differently on the buyer end with tours um, in order to keep people safe. Then once you go under contract, we are seeing that um, it's taking a little longer for some appraisers. Not everyone is going out, but it's not um, too much of a hassle. Uh, surveyors are still doing it, just not every appraiser wants to go into an occupied property. Um, so those take a little bit longer, but there are procedures you can do. Same with inspectors. They're wearing face masks. They're sanitizing when they're in a property. Um, they are making sure to adhere to social distancing rules. So there are ways around it. Um, the biggest change we're seeing though is only necessary people can go to closing and there are a lot of lenders and other uh, title companies allowing remote and mobile notaries. So sometimes I even saw a title company that does drive through um, drive through closing so you don't even have to get out of your car. So there's a lot of creative ways that people are um, going and still accomplishing their real estate goals but from a safe distance and still staying healthy. Um, and so if you did have a real estate goal this year, say you wanted to sell your house or you wanted to buy, um, there are some things you can do without leaving your home. Um, for those that are selling, I have been doing some Zoom walkthrough uh, conferencing. So basically I get on and you take me through your house and I can kind of give you tips on um, staging, on maybe some projects that you want to do. If you do feel comfortable and you are okay, I have had some uh, sellers do pre-inspections. So they had the inspector come by and do a full inspection and then basically they took that inspection report and they they have been going through and getting repairs or fixing uh, outdoor needs that they can do themselves which will save them money on the back end but also it removes some risk because we are in the middle of the coronavirus things are changing frequently so if you were to go under contract and something comes up like a roof or you know something simple as paint or redoing the yard the longer something sits the more you risk the house not selling or selling for less but then also you don't want to risk losing a buyer because of the market because some buyers are taking the attitude that they can be more picky and they can be more demanding so as a seller um, by preempting that by dealing with your house now while I mean you're living in it right now and you're kind of stuck you know one of the things that my husband and I did we saw it at our backyard while we were um, while we're under quarantine um, some people are painting there's a lot of things you can do from the comfort of your home, own home um, that can help you when you do want to list and for those that do want to sell I have listed during the coronavirus. There are people touring. In fact, this weekend, one of my listings had seven to 10 tours and we're getting two to three a day. Um, so there are people out there looking. So don't think that um, you can't list right now. It just looks different. We just do precautionary measures um, and we do include virtual tours. Now, if you're buying, most of you are probably already doing this if you're a buyer, is get online, start looking, start looking at those virtual tours and kind of narrow down the areas that you want to look in. Look at neighborhoods, look at pricing. What are you seeing? What are you liking? Kind of making a list and deciding, okay, what are my top homes? What are my must-haves? So then when you are ready to buy, whether it's right now or maybe you were planning on buying at the end of the year, 
you already have that in mind. You already have those thoughts going um, and you're already prepared. Um, online research is great. It helps you really understand the market and it helps you know when you walk into the home that you want because you've seen all the other bad ones online. And with all these virtual tours, you could spend all day touring houses online. There's a lot of different options. Uh, Matterport is a 3D option, which if you go in, it's like you're walking in the property. It literally feels like that. It's 3D all around. A lot of people are choosing to do videos where you can walk through as if through a video. Um, I would also encourage, usually I encourage buyers when they're just in the beginning stages to go to open houses. Obviously open houses aren't happening right now. Virtual open houses are happening though. So I definitely encourage you to jump on some people's Facebook lives and other places that are doing virtual open houses and just getting to see what's out there. Message the, the person who's doing the virtual open house, get more information. Now's the time to be doing that online research, that extra research, so that when you are ready to buy, you have a lot, you have a leg up on the competition and allows you to move faster. Um, so I'm kind of going to share some predictions that, that some people are seeing in the real estate industry. Um, doesn't mean they're going to be right or wrong. I'm just going to share kind of what we're seeing and what we're thinking. Um, so right now, this pandemic did hit in the middle of the uh, spring selling season or summer selling season when it's the best time to list your home and most people have to move in between school. But granted, the pandemic is kind of dampening that. Some people are out of work. Some people who thought they had to move um, aren't sure now. So we're seeing that kind of some people are stalled. Some people think because of that, that once uh, safer at home restrictions are lifted, you're going to see a full force of people coming out that had to buy a home and that were planning on it during April, but couldn't because of the safer at home. So if you are planning to list, May may be a good time um, because you may see that wave of new buyers coming out and new buyers who may also um, need to move quicker so they may be willing to make a quicker decision. And then if you are one of those buyers, that's why I'm, I'm recommending that you do do that online research so you can act quickly because the summer season, spring season, houses do move faster um, so that way you don't miss out um, and you can still close in time before the the beginning of the next school year um, so those are some thoughts uh, a key thing to remember uh, there's a lot of media predicting a recession uh, a lot of things like that happening um, we don't know if that's going to happen but for sellers if a recession is coming and prices are expected to drop then just remember that this would be the beginning of um, that those that drop so you would be on the high higher end of pricing. Uh, real estate is not so much like the stock market where each day you get an update and oh it dropped 5%, it dropped by 10%. Appraisers pull from the last six months. So if a recession is starting now and prices are starting to go down, you're not going to see as drastic of a drop in valuations and pricing because of that. Um, so that's a key thing to remember if you're selling, uh, waiting six months to a year. If a recession is going to happen, that may hurt you on how high of a price you're going to go. Of course, this is just thoughts and anything can happen. I mean, we've never had a coronavirus before. Um, we've never had a pandemic shutdown like this, so we don't know what it's going to look like. Um, but that is a recommendation from a seller standpoint that if you have to sell, um, it may be better to do it now versus waiting when the backlash, the economic backlash of the things that are happening right now may be more taking full swing in a few months. Um, so those are some thoughts. Uh, feel free to comment or ask any questions. I've gotten a lot, a lot of people texting me and asking things. Um, so just remember, uh, I'm here. I can do Zoom meetings. Um, we can do a lot of things to help you out from the comfort of your own home to make sure that in 2020, you can still accomplish your real estate goals. Or if you have new ones, because now you've realized, oh, being stuck at home may not, this may not be my favorite home. Um, you can always contact me and I can give you more information on what exactly is on the market. What exactly is it looking like? What procedures can we follow? Um, what do you qualify for? Um, we can do all of that online. So, uh, feel free to message me and hope you guys are staying safe and um, enjoying your time with family.